good evening again. Did you find out or know what it was from last time? It was our now driving Arctics along a fairly narrow road. Just gone down the hill in a Newton Popwall field or Popwallford uh, on the way to Sidmouth and before we got before we get there got a very nice hill to go up and this Arctic that I'm in is woefully underpowered to put it simply. It's got a nine and a half litre straight six which makes 310 horsepower which ain't a lot. Anybody let me through? So I've got a big hill to get up, which is about 10 miles an hour all the way. Then we get to Sidford, Sidmouth. I don't know which way round they even are. And then we've got to do a blind side reverse onto the bay. isn't too bad when you've got a rear view window it reduces the blind spot from completely being blind of everything to just a small part from where you can't see in the mirror until you can see in the window but it's uh, preferable to reverse on the uh, good side there but as of the way with most things quite a few of these deliveries are on the blind side I suppose that's why they've fitted rear windows. So that it's a bit easier. So here's the beginning of our hill. Starts off fairly nice, but it gets steeper and steeper and steeper, and you go down and down the gearbox. And if you ain't careful, you're going to stall out on the hill. And getting going again will probably be near impossible. So this is eighth gear. It's slowing down, slowing down. Go down to seventh. Getting steeper again. Go down into sixth, which is the
the top of the low range gearbox. 15 miles an hour. Flattens out a bit here. Before picking back up again. Well, this may be the top now. Yeah, that's the top. on because we're here so we're gonna back it into there today is a bit better than yesterday because it was raining and a bit darker than this I couldn't really use my mirrors and I couldn't really see where I was going. So that's what a rear view window does for you. is a lift. Okay. Oh, 
there eventually. The person who was acting as banksman wasn't very good. Because he first of all said I was too far over to the right, go over the left, and then he was pointing to the right again, and I ended up exactly where I started off. easier if they just say how far off you are and then leave you to it. make my way back down the hill up another slightly less steeper one we hit the M5 and the M4 for three and a half hours of mind-numbing activity and all the mud on my wheel is making a right racket so once we've completed our three and a half hours of mind numbingness we do eventually get back to base and hopefully there won't be a queue for D kit hopefully there won't be a queue for diesel hopefully I can find a space for the trailer fairly easy hopefully there won't be a queue for the wash and if there's none of that I may just make it home before midnight which would be nice